two toed sloth. It likes to have a lot of trees around in its habitat to climb around in. Ponds, there's a tree by the pond, by a pond, so it can climb down to the pond to drink water. Because there's usually not a lot of water in the trees. It has rocks to have its babies. And that's also near the tree so it can climb down easily. There is lots of trees to climb in. And the rocks are also to get across. Because there's a space between two of the trees so it can get across the trees easily. There's tons and tons of trees, um, and the, the two-toed sloth, or any kind of sloth, should have lots of trees to climb around in. It has lots of space to climb in trees, and it has um, ponds. And there's calm water, so it like it's slow. So when it climbs down to the pond to drink, it doesn't like it's not rushing water, so it doesn't like pull the sloth with it. I didn't get to um, put this on the computer, but there should be glass like right here all along on the bottom. Hi my name is Evelyn and I'm doing the Jaguar. Um, I have a pond and then there's a little river and if it wants to get um, on a little rock there's some rocks from and there's another pond so there's space for another so it has space for another animal to another jaguar to go back into this pond and they don't like to be together that much so I put some different places where they can be alone. I have some glass so they don't have so um, they can so the visitors can watch them. I have tree, trees because I thought they I think they're really good climbers, that's what I read. Um, I put a little vine right, some vine right there so they can get to the other tree. Um, I put some bones. There, I forgot, I didn't have anything to put the rope right next to the bone, but there is supposed to be one. Um, I have a bone up there in, fact, in case they want to get out and get it. Uh, there was a feeding place right there, but I don't know where it went. Um, jaguars like to, well, um, they can sleep on, in the trees because they like, they usually sleep in trees a lot. And I put a, I put another tree over there in case they want to go on a different tree. <laughs> and where they can have babies is um, they can have some babies on those vine on the vines right there or in the trees too because they like having babies in the trees. Um, they have a lot of space to play. They have a lot of space where they can play and they can run around and swim so they can get um, stronger swimming. <laughs> It's like their natural home because they have trees, which there's trees where they live, and there's a couple ponds, I think, where they live near. Um, there isn't supposed to be, a, well, I, you just put bones in there so they can sharpen their teeth sometimes and shoot them up. And, um, they have space around them. And they can climb on the vines, too. It has enough 
much water because there's a little river they can drink out in two ponds. There's one that's big and there's another one. They're pretty big, so I put big ponds so they can fit. And we did measure them, but it was a, almost good for them to stay. It was good for them. Um, there's lots of water because there, um, there's little rocks also. They might, and they have little holes in them, so there's holes for them to drink out of. Kind of. Mm -hmm. Hello, my name is Jacob. Today I will be. Um, talking about the iguana habitat. Um, I did some trees there because it does, because it, um, iguanas do like to climb, and that's their home. The biggest tree is the big, is their home because they, um, have a big family, so they are, didn't have enough time to, um, make a hole because they do, um, lay their eggs in home, I mean in holes, but well it is okay if I didn't draw it because they really do bury it. Um, so there's like a, a grass area up there and it's very grassy. They do like having grassy places and they do um, swim to get them wet because as they do um, like a wet skin and for them to shake. The trees are also for to like climb up and get some exercise. Um, so they do eat a lot of stuff in like the trees. They do eat meat. So yeah. I didn't have enough time, but it's right here at the bottom where it's white. So, it, so um, they do like they're six feet. So, and they do have a lot of space to play in, and and it's natural because um. It it's a natural home because it um it's like a natural home because it they could climb to get up to the trees and um they do, do like um go to the river a lot and they might like just like a whole group might just come there for and um drink and. I think they do eat meat and grass. I just wanted to draw a water wall, but I couldn't, but I just did that, so it kind of, like, um, just looks like it's somewhere else. I, I sort of drew it up to the very top, so it kind of looks like there's like a waterfall and like a waterfall there so I did put the grass on there so because they do go on grass the big grass area of there might be where the um meat might be so like the food Hi, my name is Noah, and my animal is a chimpanzee. We can call it a chimp. There is some. There is something for um, the chimpanzee to play, and um, swing from a tree to another tree. So where they have babies is. Um, They probably have them in the trees, and they probably, well, they carry them wherever they go, so their babies are always with them. It does because, um, well, there is a, by the 
grass, there is um, a, um, there is glass behind the grass. They have a place to exer play an exercise because, um, well, where they play an exercise, where they play is on this tire swing, the ground tire swing. Also, um, like, runs to, to, um, hope I didn't forget. It's like the animals of natural habitat because, well, um, there is, um, feeding area, there's some fruit, and there is grass to play. They probably play on grass too. So, and they get water from their the fruit and the pond. I didn't have time to put a lot of water on because it was almost the end of tech ed, so I didn't have enough time to do that.